Chief Stacy Graves, Kansas City, Missouri Police Department. At the conclusion of the Chief's rally today, there were shots fired on the west side of Union Station. Immediately, officers responded to the area, took two people into custody, and also immediately rendered life-sustaining aid to those victims. We're still gathering information on the number and the status of victims. But like I said, we know that one of the victims is deceased. We also know that officers ran towards danger. Officers were there to keep everyone safe. I'm angry at what happened today. The people who came to this celebration should expect a safe environment. We had over 800 law enforcement officers, Kansas City and other agencies, at the location to keep everyone safe. Because of bad actors, which were very few, this tragedy occurred, even in the presence of uniformed law enforcement officers, who again ran towards them and took them into custody. To the people who were injured in this tragedy, our hearts go out to you and your families. This investigation is just beginning and we are working safely to clear all surrounding areas and businesses. This is still an active investigation. Uh, we will continue to keep you updated. We will keep you updated on Twitter and most likely a follow-up uh, press availability. Did you have anything? No. One of our victims has been declared deceased. We have, we have. Right now, we have up to 10 to 15 injured by. Yes. Right now. We do not have an exact number of people who were victims of a gunshot wound. It could be upwards from 10 to 15 with one deceased. So how many are in critical condition at this point? I do not have conditions on our victims just yet. Any believe to be children? I, don't, I do not believe that any of them were children. Any law enforcement injured in this first response? Um, nothing of note. Chief, what prompted, what do, you, what do you guys believe now prompted these issues? Uh, we are still, that is still under investigation. Uh, I myself was outside when I heard the shots fired. It is an ongoing investigation. It's going to take us a little bit to determine exactly what led up to the shooting. I will say, though, we do have two suspects in custody. There are circulating on social media that some fans may have helped contain one of those. I have heard that as well. I have heard that, that fans got involved in the apprehension or the pursuit of one of the suspects. I cannot confirm that right now, but that is something that I have heard myself. Can yes. Absolutely. As soon as the rally concluded, there were shots fired on the west side of Union Station. Officers were on scene in the area. I know one of the suspects was immediately pursued on foot. Um, like I said, there's two suspects in custody. I have heard uh, the information that was just requested. I will confirm or deny that. Um, but after that, immediately officers began rendering life-sustaining aid, calling in fire, which is the, the fire department, to uh, also assist those victims. Do you know if there were more than two people taken into custody? Because we had two people, after you guys had made your announcement, there were two people in custody, two people live on our air being taken, handcuffed, put into vans. So can you talk well, about that and the process as this investigation continues? I don't know exactly the two that you're talking about that, that your camera caught um, on, on video being loaded into a wagon. I don't know that, but I can tell you that uh, in and around that scene, it is still active. Um, not active in, in necessarily threats, but it's a very active scene. We are still investigating. This is still early on. Um, we still have parties that are walking into hospitals. Do you, say, do you know anything about the suspect? 
expect in terms of where they're from? Are they from? I do not know that, but that's something that, that I also will be finding out. Two questions. We are hearing upwards of maybe 20 shots. Can you talk about the number that you heard? I'm hearing 10 to 15, possibly 15, with, with the one um, that is uh, deceased. And do you know anything about the timing? It seems odd if it's waited to the very end of the rally. I don't have anything about, I, I can't give you an answer on the timing. I can just say that uh, that's when it occurred and we are investigating what led up to that. Maybe once we get some of those details, we'll know why that happened at that time. But right now, it's just, it's still too new. That is something that, that is under investigation. Talked about how you were on the ground and you yourself had to run for safety. I understand we're, we're still waiting on a timeline and I'm trying to understand what exactly happened. But we were having a Super Bowl parade and this is what the country is talking about now. What is your message to this city at a time like this? I second the comments about the chief of police. I'm heartbroken. First of all, I'm praying for the victims and the families impacted. I start with them. Um, I'm incredibly upset disappointed. I was there with my wife, I was there with my mother. Uh, we never would have thought that we along with Chiefs players, along with fans, hundreds of thousands of people would be forced to run for our safety today. I think that I'll let the investigation shake out before coming to any further conclusions, but I think the initial response absolutely is anger. You know, we have done a number of these now. And this is a day that a lot of people look forward to, something they remember for a lifetime. And what they shouldn't have to remember is the threat of gun violence, marring a day like this, injuring them and their families. This morning, I was actually thinking about bringing my child, as many people in Kansas City did. And I don't want us to have to, in our country, for every big event, think about a concern of being shot. As the chief noted, we had a lot of law enforcement officers there today. They did exceptional and outstanding work, and I will second that again. Because on your timeline point, I was inside of Union Station. We heard something. A number of us start running, and I see a stream of officers going the exact other direction, in with guns drawn, ready to address danger. And that was the, the situation throughout, people who responded absolutely immediately. But I wish that we lived in a world where they wouldn't have to do that. I wish we live in a world where we wouldn't have to see incidents like that. But I'm as heartbroken as anybody. We will do a, a full and thorough investigation. I hope that we bring whoever this is to justice, and we will continue to try to make sure that we can be as safe as possible. However, when you have people who decide to bring guns to events, when you have people who are deciding to try to mar events, celebratory ones like this one, all of us start to become members of this club that none of us want to be a part of, which is those who have experienced mass shootings. I hope for Kansas City this is one of the last times we experience them. Were the players in any danger at any point? What's that? Sorry, I'm going here. Was I in danger? Were any of the players? You know what? I, I think we'll let the investigation take a look at that. The police department responded effectively, I think incredibly quickly, to make sure that people would be out of harm's way. That being said, a number of us had to flee from a situation because we heard a sound of gunshots. So I'll let you answer your own question in terms of whether you think that's something that puts you in danger or not. Um, in my view, anytime shots are nearby, you don't know where they're coming from, you don't know who's firing them and all of that, then perhaps there is a, a situation of danger. But can I ask a fire question? Of the 10 to 15 injured, were there all those gunshots on have a sense of how many or, or some of those also critical we, We've covered that we, we don't have that information. I just have a fire question. Hold on. 10 to 15 is what we have, potentially 15. One deceased. I don't have a condition on the other gunshot uh, victims. Gunshot. Correct. It's correct. We don't know how many. One fire question. No, I do not. Because, because Chief Graves said there We're going to have a lot of updates later, guys. we got to go inside and gather this information. I appreciate it. What are the updates, Jake, later? Well, just look on Twitter. I just have one. I just have one. Excuse me. I just have one thing to say. This is not Kansas City. I'm I'm angered by by what happened, but I want you to know that the the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department, and all the law enforcement officers that were there today, that were serving and protecting, did the best that they could, and I'm so proud of them that they ran into danger 
getting two people into custody and at the same time rendering life sustaining aid to those victims. We were here for a safe celebration and because of two bad actors or more it is why we're standing here today. We will recover as a city. I, I, my heart goes out to um, our, our victim who is deceased. But your police department stands ready and we are, are invested in the safety and betterment of Kansas City.